In this video, we'll balance the equation for urea plus water. So if you put urea in water, it's very soluble, but nothing really will happen. You need to have an enzyme. This is a catalyst, and the catalyst helps the reaction take place, but it remains unchanged after the reaction. So let's balance this equation here. We'll count the atoms up first. We have one carbon. We have an oxygen here and here. So one plus one, we have two oxygen atoms. Nitrogen, two times one. We have two nitrogens, two times two for the hydrogen, but don't forget these two hydrogens here with the water. So we have a total of six hydrogen atoms. On the product side of the equation, we have the one carbon, two oxygens, one nitrogen, and three hydrogens. And if we look at this, it looks like if we just put a two in front of the ammonia here, one times two, that'll give us two ammonia atoms, three times two, that'll give us six. This equation is balanced. People have problems in two places here. One is they count this oxygen, but they forget this one. The other place is this two, it applies to everything in parentheses. So you have to multiply everything in parentheses by the two. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CO and H2, two plus H2O, urea plus water with this catalyst, this enzyme here, urease. Thanks for watching.